In this section, we will talk about VRRP, Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. VRRP Overview As you know, VRRP is a standard-based protocol alternative to SHRP and is defined in IETF standard request for common 2338 just like HSRP VRRP allows us to configure two or more layer 3 switches or router to form a group that appear to clients computers as a single default gateway with one virtual IP address and one virtual MAC address in the group if the master router is down the backup router will take over to serve clients here are some of the characteristics for vrrp first of all we can configure multiple group but in one group you can configure only one gateway virtual ip and one virtual mac address And you can see it's just like HSRP, you first need to configure with the VRRP group number. And from there, you can uh, figure out the MAC address with the um, format 0000.5E00.01. XX and XX is a group number for example if you configure the vrrp group number one so the mac address will be zero 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 dot five e zero zero dot zero one zero one in one group there will be only one master and all the others layer 3 switches or router will be in the backup stage in our example here this layer 3 switch is, is the master and serving client and these two layer 3 switches in backup stage and it will monitor the master and if the master fails it will take over to serve the clients you can configure 256 group with the group number from 0 to 255 you can configure the priority for each layer 3 switches or router in the group with the priority range from 1 to 254 and the default is 100 vrrp advertisement using the multicast address 224.0.0.18 using the protocol 112 so basically the master and the backups layer 3 switches or routers will communicate to each other using the multicast address 224.0.0.18 so that it can check the status of each other The group number is local significant on an interface. So, for example, if this master layer 3 switch has another interface like this, we can configure this interface for group number 1. And we can also configure group number one for this interface but it serve a different set of clients
VRRP election process. Unlike HSRP, in VRRP, the preemption is enabled by default. Therefore, the router with the highest priority will become master. But if the priorities are the same among the routers, so the router with the highest IP address will become master. All other routers are in backup state. Let's take a look at our example below. In this example, we have the VRRP group number one. Therefore, its virtual MAC address will be like this. And in this group, this layer 3 switch have the highest priority and therefore it will become master of the group serving the clients. During the operation, the master is dead and the backup layer 3 switches in the group is still continue to monitor the hello message from the master by default is one second but after the whole time by default is three seconds if the backups don't hear any hello message from the master the new election process will begin so in this case these two layer three switches has the same priority which is a default priority is 100 but this layer 3 switch has the higher IP address so it will become the master so the master is gone and now this will become the master and the new election process will begin if a new layer 3 switch is join into the group or uh, an existing layer 3 switch uh, leave the group VRRP configuration first you can set the IP for the group in VRRP under the interface configuration mode and the command is VRRP and you specify the group number IP and you specify the IP address you can configure the priority on a router or a late a three switch under the interface configuration mode and the command is VRRP group number priority and then you can provide the priority value here and the four is 100 you can configure the advertisement timer from the master to the backup routers under the interface configuration mode and the command is VRRP group number timers advertise and you can sp specify it in millisecond and the value of the hello timer default is one second you can also configure the learn timers that the backups learn from the master under the interface configuration mode and the command is VRRP group number timers learned and you can specify it in millisecond and the value for the learn timer you can also configure the preemption under the interface configuration mode and the command is VRRP group number 
preempt and you can specify the delayed time before it's preempt and you provide the value for the delay in seconds and if you want to remove the preemption so you just put no in front of the command VRRP authentication and check configuration just like HSRP in VRRP if the master router lost its connection to the rest of the world we have to configure the object checking to check the interface of each router to the rest of the world and in this case is this interface this interface and this interface so that if the interface lost the connection to the rest of the world it will decrement the priority value of the current master router to make it lower than the other routers in the group and the command is vrrp and then group number check interface you specify the interface that's connect to the rest of the world and then decrement values and it's done at the interface configuration mode and the four value is 10 and the same for the authentication in vrrp you can configure the authentication for each routers in the group and you can configure it in clear tech or the md5 with the keystring or the keychain for the md5 and the command is vrrp and then you specify the group number authentication and the string value vrrp load balance we configure load balance in vrrp the same way that we configure for hsrp so we keep the same example and in this case we configure it for vrrp first we need to configure cisco skill switch one with the configuration like this we create the vrrp group number one and make switch one become the master by configuring the priority for switch one is 200 and assign the IP address 10.1.10.100 to the group and therefore it has the MAC address like this and the preamp is enabled by default in VRRP then we configure the VRRP group number 2 and we will make switch 1 become the backup with the default priority of 100 and we assign the IP address 10.1.10.200 to the group 2 and it has the virtual MAC address like this and the preempts is enabled by default then we continue on to configure the Cisco skill switch 2 with the configuration like this we configure the VRRP group 1 and make Cisco skill switch 2 become the backup by keeping the default priority of 100 and assign the same virtual IP address for group 1 which is 10.1.10.100 and it also has the same MAC address and the preemption is enabled by default then we configure the VRRP group 2 and Mexico skill switch 2 
become the master by configuring the priority of 200 and then assign the virtual IP address for the group is 10.1.10.200 and this is the virtual MAC address for the group and the preamp is enable by default now in the computer group A we assign the gateway for all the computers in the group which the IP 10.1.10.100 so all the traffic to another network in computers in group A when sent to the Cisco skill switch one and it's gonna go like this in computer group B we configure the default gateway 10.1.10.200 to make it send all the traffic to another network to Cisco skill switch 2 and it's gonna go like this and therefore we can create the load balance for VRRP in this example